Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, creator of strategy, bases, and other things extraordinary and sometimes boring. I completed an entire round of the world bus line, which is the central resources I have put down. Now, it's only one single lane, and obviously, I've been doing a little bit of top, and I was thinking, because I do that occasionally, you know what I'd really like to see? This blue science is lovely and shiny, and I love how it looks. Why don't I make a ring around the entire planet of this lovely shiny blue to show how much I truly care about it? Basically, I liked it, so I'm going to put a ring on it. Now, this is, what, two high, this is four high. How high can we go? Two, three, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Huh. We can go twelve high. Now, what are we going to do with that? I'm thinking what we need is a massive, massive conveyor belt, twelve high, which goes around the entire planet. That's going to take a little bit of time, but this is how we show that we want to live here. We're going to build this, and we're going to build it good. Now, what are we going to need for this absolutely stupid plan? Lots and lots of conveyor belts. Excellent. So that should give me enough. What else are we going to need? We're going to need a little wireless power towers so I can actually travel around the world. That'll give us our start. Power. And so on. Now let's spend about three hours putting it down, and we'll get right back in touch with how this looks. Hopefully it looks good. It's been about an hour, and as you can see, I've decided... Actually, it's another it's the worst place to do this. It's been a little while, as you can see, I've actually had a bit of movement going on. And I've decided to actually start it. Now, we have a bit of energy over here. And... And finally, after 50 minutes of doing this and watching Netflix, I have completed one single ring around the entire planet. Twelve! Hi! Oh my god, the effort. Now, the greatest part about it, it'll look lovely, shiny and glowy and blue, just like this lower level here. Unfortunately, we ran out of science. So, oh, here comes the science. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Slowly making its way across the bar, glowing and expanding. Now this, look at that, the curve, the planet. As it goes over, look at that shine! Now, I was thinking, what would be better than one bar? And of course the answer is, two bars! Well, of course the answer is two bars. Now, I don't have the sign for both of them yet, but look at that as it curves around the planet. I haven't even noticed I put a second one in. It's not complete yet. There's going to be a bit more time for me to do that. but. It's the beginning of me putting a ring around my planet and showing it how much I love it. Right now we have a way up on both sides as you can see. Science goes into this, goes over to both sides and fills it up. Unfortunately, the second ring needs a bit more effort and I need to work on my science. But the double ring of excitement has begun. Now we need to do the rest of the boring mundane stuff like putting down all the factories. Okay, so research is our problem. We need it bluer better and bigger. So let's actually plan blue. Blue needs magnets and magnetic coils. Is that all it needs? Is that all blue needs? So oh, it needs magnetic coils and I didn't get some... Wow, that's pretty simple, isn't it? Okay, let's start here and put down some building stuff. Well, I had to move it back to so now it's in the ocean, so now we can actually start deploying this. So let's lay it down as... What is it? Lay foundation with no decoration and start destroying the ocean as well because foundation, why the hell not? A terrain leveling tool, yet we cannot use it to change the planetary landforms at will. Oh, we can only level the surface to ground zero. Oh, we need to ground zero. If we can't dig. Well, that ruins that experiment. Let's carry on. So this this style keeps bloody changing. I've decided I wanted it to look different. It now looks different. So we should have all of the resources we need for these items in one place. Yeah, so all the materials go into the middle, and obviously they come out on the sides. So this, uh, it is what it is. But yeah, it's moved. This is what it now looks like. Let me just finish it off, and then I can show you how it works. So it's a very simple and temporary line. All the resources go down the middle to get turned into these 
magnetic coils and circuit boards when you get taken up to here into the beginning of our production line. And then hundreds upon hundreds of blue are then produced and sent over to here. So finally, we actually have automated blue production, which is a milestone in putting a ring around the entire planet and probably even useful for the actual game itself. But you know, gotta start somewhere. Gotta make things vaguely okay before I make things vaguely useful, eh? Oh dear, I don't have my priorities right in this game, do I? And we're at the beginning of our journey, so we have nine of these producing these lovely, lovely glowing blue cubes. Oh, here come the cubes now! And also we have two storages, so I didn't know, but I've just read my comments, and apparently these also work the same as uh, these. That if the bottom one gets filled, the top one also gets filled. So I'm going to have to rethink how I'm using these storages, because otherwise there's a lot of storage issues further on. But we have the beginning of blue. Soon the entire ring will be a blue from one side to the other. And also we need to finish off the second one. <sighs> Let's go do that now, I guess. You know, I've had a thought. This is epic and it looks awesome. It looks bloody amazing. But I'm going to be very annoyed as soon as I have to upgrade it to the next tier of these, which will be probably only in a couple of hours. But that's that's gonna be fun. So much so much fun. Also, while I'm building that, I've just had a quick look at my system. It looks like four of these on this side, I'm watching this bit here, just feed nine. It always seems to be roughly here. Whereas the other side seems to be okay. So if every two feeds four and a half, let's say, that means I add another two in, I should be able to feed nine, thirteen, and thirteen and a half. So we'll be able to put another three down for another two of these. I think we should. I think we should actually expand it more. I think our oh, big slowing factor right now, of course, might actually be uh, the actual conveyor belts. But, yeah, I think we could actually expand this by another three. Well, technically four, but you know what I mean. So we actually have room for upgrade. And obviously, when we actually get faster conveyors, we can have even more blue. So I'm probably doing this a little bit too early. But, you know, sod it. I want a blue ring on my planet. I want two blue rings on my planet. Let's do this. There we go, the beginning of the blue ring is being complete. We should be able to do at least one, I think. It's gonna take a while, probably another couple of hours, but blue is bluing. I mean, I could have used this for research, but isn't that so pedestrian? My god. Also, there's a lot of blue in the bottom low I now need to use. Come on, blue! Go meet the rest of your blue! Yes! And obviously, when it comes round again, we'll eventually fill in all the gaps, I hope. But blue! Oh, I like blue. I actually like... My favourite colour is purple, but I don't think we have purple. Actually, we do have purple research. What am I thinking? There is purple research. Where is it? Yellow. Purple. That's purple. But yeah, purple research exists. We can have a purple line later. Although, it's going to take a while. Because this is going to take a long time to even fill this area up. An awful, awful long time. Oh, dear. I'll be honest, it's not going well. The copper line isn't making it all the way to the bottom. I think we need better conveyors for it to reach all of them right now, and we don't have that option. Also, I think this is almost it. I think we've almost made the blue line on one side fully blue. Come on, put them in. That's it, fill all those gaps. Look at that gaps coming in. I think this is it. I think we've officially blued one whole line, just need to do the other one, which I immediately moved on to, to finishing this, to perfecting it. As you can see, the copper... Oh, the copper's finally full. That's because this is finally... Nah, it's seized up. The means of production is seized up, I apologise. Oh, that was a gap. Oh, that's a gap. Please tell me they're going to fill that gap in. Come on, I don't want a gap. Come on, fill the gap in. They never filled the gap in. There's going to be permanently a gap in my line. What? game. Why would you do this to me? I think that's going to annoy me every time I spot it. It put two more gaps in my line. Look. Oh, what? I'm going to have to literally seal it off and put an extra block in just to make sure it goes away. But yeah, we now have a blue line across the entire planet. Look at that. The first one's done. Now for the second one. Oh, no. Do, 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 building things. 
Another big thing I've noticed, the ring is finally complete, is that my power level is about 50% because I'm using more than I'm making. So what we're going to do is very, very briefly, quickly and easily, build some coal. That's right, we're going to completely and totally industrialise this world in the revolution. Not the good revolution, the bad one. Let's put some power down it. Now, could I wanted to use the next level of nice stuff, which is basically I put it into a smelter and I smelt it to nicer things. I'm not going to do that because I don't really care. I just want slightly better power, slightly faster. Because you can see, we're out of power. And being out of power is not a good thing. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. I can just stand here and do nothing. But it's not the best thing either. Oh, there we go. As you can see, power is just not a thing here. And we need it to be. So you should start powering this up, this should start powering that up, and we should start having the power of kings. Or at the very least, I have power somewhere else in my base. It's it's very low. Oh, come on. Very, very low. But as you can see this, we now almost have 100% usage. So we were at 50%, we're at 12, now at 22, 23. I will take this new upgrade. We are now officially coal users. In the grand scheme of things, we're now using coal. So, isn't that great? Isn't that totally great? Anyway, now all we need is more blue up top, and we finished the ring. My gods. Oh no, if you don't leave it gap, the actual ring just stops moving. Look at that. There has to be a teeny, tiny, annoying little gap for it to keep on flowing. Well, that's, that's annoying. That's very annoying. There must always be a tiny gap, hopefully, that annoys me. I guess, either way, we'll find out. We're going to start doing the other side, too. Oh! Oh, come on. Do I have to stick with a small gap? Oh, that's annoying. I have to stick with a small gap. Oh, it came all the way around. I spent ages waiting for it. Oh, it has to be a gap. Why does there have to be a gap? I think I was happier before I changed it. Anyway, the other side's now being done as well, as you can see. So epic things are happening. Blue is blue. And I guess I'll figure out a way if I want it to move. It looks better if it moves. Oh, look at that. They are slowly pushing forward at speed. That one little gap is forcing them to always push forwards. So it's always moving forward. Oh, okay, I'll figure this out, maybe. So, this is my life. The entire line is completely done, apart from this one square. Now, if I seal up the square by squidging it all together, it won't move. So I am stuck with this one annoying square. I think there might be a smaller one on the other side, too. But the only way for me to get rid of this would be to remove an entire chunk of the line. And I could do that, but I've spent two hours on this already. And it's six in the morning, I want to go to sleep. So, I've done the rings, I've added the power, I'm not sure what else I'm going to do, but this is what it now looks like from space. Look at that. I've built a planetary ring around my planet. I liked it, I put a ring on it. Now I can go back to my regularly scheduled, actually finishing off what I was meant to do, like research and all of that jazz. All the stuff I should have been doing a while ago. So, I, as you can see, I have extended the production of my, what do you call them? My production of my sorters, obviously I'm going to go out for sorter tier two, not yet prepped. I have all sorts of things, but I decided that the blue line above us isn't fully complete. We need to get the red line going on. So that's our second objective. As you can see, the line is being prepped over there, not yet finished. I have completely blued up this so I can always find it. But for red research, of which we're going to be doing, I'm going to need a couple more things. One of which will be, let's see, where is it? Where are you? You are here. So we're going to go for this. So I need to get plasma extraction to get some oil. They need to go get the energy matrix for red because we'll be needing oil and I think one of the irons to make these. Yeah, we need oil and coal. Once that is done, we can start making red. Red will then make us to the next tier. So let's go get us some oil and some coal. So oil will be going over here. 
we have four oils I can start prepping them. Now, oils are also solid in this game. For some reason, it isn't a liquid, even though I definitely would have liked a liquid. Let's start producing a couple. Look at that research glow. I wish it went all the way, but I'll take what I can get. Actually, why isn't that going all the way? Oh, look at that research glow in the background, and it's still not glowing properly. Hmm. Okay, so this is the size. As you can see, they're pretty big, so one, two, three, four. Now, each one has a different setting, as you can see. This is two a second. This one is two a second. This one is two a second. This one is, over here, I think, is 1.21, as you can see. So right now we'll be using this as a simple, actually we'll use this one as a simple setup, it's nearly two. And how this works is, it pumps out basic oil, which then goes into these oil refineries. Oil refineries pump it out in one way, and they release it in others. So it will then release two separate materials, which in this case will be, we're going to do this, this will be refined oil and hydrogen. To divide them. So refined oil and hydrogen, of course, are two separate things. So I now need to actually filter it properly. Because, of course, the wrong filter will bring out the wrong materials. So that is why we'll now have this going on. So you click on it, you go to here. I want this one to be hydrogen. I want this one to be refined oil. So now what will happen is this will start pulling out oil, it will start going to these two which will then start crushing it down and it will start pumping out. Now what it does is refined oil comes out faster than hydrogen. So you'll always have more refined oil than hydrogen at the early stages. As you can see here exactly what I mean. So you'll be getting four for every two from these two and it's also coming out a lot faster. So this does 15 a minute and it takes a while. This is doing 120 a minute so I could probably set up 15, 30, 60, 90, 120, uh, 8 of these, which is a lot of resources in one go. So we're going to start setting that up and we're going to start prepping to actually make some red. Although this, this is annoying still. Now I will be honest, I know 12 might not be the highest you can currently go, there's probably a higher level. So I may have to upgrade this in the future, but right now, red and blue, across the world, that's what we want to see. One weird thing about this is how this area here is steadily getting closer. I've had to do this just so it still works. But you know, what can you do I guess? Like, that is just annoying to me. Why? Why would it do this to me? But yeah, it's, it, it's a thing now. That's a thing now. Okay, so what we now need is a red production area which we're going to have over here. As you can see I've got the hydrogen connected to the top, although none seems to be arriving on this area. So we need more research facilities, we need more production, and we also need to get energetic graphite, which is just coal smelted. So we get some smelted coal on the line as well, and I'll be back in a second, I think. I was going to go pull coal from over there, but there's literally a coal vein just here. So we're going to set up, very, very simple, very, very quick, hopefully, coal mining and destroying over here. So that means we're going to bring in the coal, smelt it, and then use it for exciting things. And the red is beginning, finally. So now we have coal coming from behind this area, powering into these, which is being turned into red, and then it's being pumped out into these two over here. And as soon as we have enough, we can continue working on the second layer, which I need to add a few more lines on. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes or hours. And after all that effort, it's finally done. Now. This may seem a bit of a waste of time, but I have now prepped blue research and red research. We can now begin next tier research and we can now get our base operational. Now, it's only a single line, as you can see it's still slightly filling up. But it's only a single line because of this. This is the North Pole, I think? Either it's the North or the South. And as you can see, straight lines don't exist. I can get a nice curve, so I just did the middle one. Maybe I'll come back to this, maybe I'll make a nice little pattern. But yeah, this is literally how it currently looks. And we're going to have to leave it here for just one. But yeah, this is our planet. I put a ring on our whole planet three times, with the fourth and the fifth one on its way. But I've been the Fallen Shogun, doing mega projects because I can, expanding research because it's also available. Anyway, take care, be awesome, 
be epic and I will of course be seeing you next time I decide to do something stupid. Look at the base. It's looking pretty epic. Thank <laughs> you.